Hello everyone, welcome back to the lab. Today we are going to be making liquid air. We're gonna show you exactly how it's done and then we're also gonna be doing some really fun experiments. Lab -jitsu. Lab -jitsu. <laughs> the first part that we need to configure is our helium compressor. This is gonna run off of 480 volts three phase and this is what connects to our cryo pump to generate the pressures needed to compress the, the piston to move up and down so we can generate our liquid air. This one I already have ready to go for making the liquid air. This one I'm gonna have to mess with the fins and I'm not sure if I wanna do that or save this for our big chamber build, which we will be doing soon. I'm stuck, <laughs> I'm pretty stuck. Liquid nitrogen to wall. This is where we're gonna be keeping all of our liquid air. I just noticed our helium pressure is almost zero, and that's obviously not what we want. So luckily I have another helium compressor and I just looked at the supply and it is higher, so we're gonna use that one instead. That power, we're gonna have to move some transformers around. My beautiful wiring. Oh, we're gonna see if this works. I'm gonna get some safety glasses just in case something. Ah! <laughs> okay, we've got the water working, we've got our pipes installed, now we're ready to turn it on. Three, two, one. To give a basic overview of how this system works, we have a compressor and a cryo pump. The compressor uses high pressure helium to send to our cryo pump, which pushes and pulls the diaphragm, which is able to remove heat from this specific point here and send it back to the compressor where it's able to heat exchange it into a liquid cooling system. We've got our liquid air. It is a beautiful 70 degrees Chicago day. So we are outside. That was freaking cool. Think there's options for us? Ready, steady, go. <laughs> That was cool. That was so cool. All right, guys, that concludes the end of this video. We hope you liked it. Uh, we still have quite a bit of liquid air left, so if you have any ideas on what we can do, leave a comment below. And remember to subscribe so we can keep doing what we're doing, and we will see you in the next video.